Hi everyone! Today we're going to add rhinestones in Clo. There are a few options. You can add them as buttons or objects. You can even create a rhinestone tassel like my final design. Are you ready? Let's get started. First, when you visit the Clow website, you can download free objects. I like this round rhinestone, but you can also buy a rhinestone top stitch. In the next video, we'll figure out how to turn an object into a top stitch. Going back to Clue, let's start by creating a rhinestone effect using buttons. Go to Hardware and Trims and choose Button. When you double click, the button will appear here. I'm going to set it as glitter, then add the button by clicking. You can move it closer like this and render it. You can also change the type to gem, glass, or glitter light while rendering. Next, let's add an object rhinestone. First, open the object and drag and drop it on top. Position your object well and rotate it. Also, adjust the size. I'm going to change the material type to glitter. But it looks opaque and plastic-like. So I'll add a graphic to the stone part.
select the object in the object browser. Under Texture, click the Window Shape button. I have a diamond graphic image in my file, so I'll apply it. Now you'll see the texture applied to the stone, so let's render again how it looks. It looks much better, shinier and clearer. Next, I'm going to add rhinestones all the way here and make a tassel like this, but it's too much work to add each line individually when you want to add a lot. So, I'll show you how to easily add objects all at once in the next video.
Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.